This is the originally scheduled 1 p.m. match. Please welcome from San Diego, California, Donald K. That the voice of Bill Fallon, longtime Oakmont member, former USGA executive, introducing the players on the tee. And Justin, we finally have some golf. Is Donald Kay going to get it going for us? Yes, we do. Important tee shot here. Going with driver, this golf course playing quite a bit softer than it did on Monday or even yesterday morning from all the rain. making to the round of 16 a couple years ago in the U.S. Amateur Championship. Has designs on doing even better this year. And it looks like Donald Kay's ball found one of those bunkers down the left-hand side. Never saw a bounce. That can happen when you sit around for a long time. Certainly when, what you would characterize as a makeable par putt. Got to be a bit aggressive. This will have some run out in it. Yeah, this is also kind of showing Ricky Castillo the line there and the pace of it. Proper position below the hole for your next one. Yeah, you would think you wouldn't see a lot of concession, Justin, on these greens over the next few days. Castillo now two putts to win the first. That is nicely done right there. Yep, gets the job done. You would think that would be conceded. It is in Ricky Castillo, one up through one. Mr. Castillo, four. Mr. Castillo is one up. Iver. Setting up just to hit a baby cut here. There is trouble down the left. No trouble here, though. This is striped. 312 yards. Got a oh, yeah. Flies oh right goodness. on the front edge. Oh. What a beautiful drive that is. That is a very <laughs> narrow target to hit this green. Uh, needs to hang on, but regardless where it ends up, awfully impressive shot by Ricky. Or this is difficult uh, hole location today, Nota. It really is. Anything coming up short, Jimmy's going to spin back off the front of the green, especially with as soft as they are, only about three or four paces over that false front. So at 120, Donald Kay's got to be thinking about fall, flying this all the way to the hole. Yeah, I dropped some balls just as the, the front part of the green rolled 18 yards down the fairway. A oh, beautiful shot right there. He answers after being two down. He's going to be kind of landing it perpendicular to that slope. Needs to play this out to the left a little ways. It all depends on how it comes out of here. Hold on to the handle tight. You don't want that club face turning over, even on such a short shot. Oh, beautifully done there. On the third. Tough to control the spin on this. This is a tweener yardage. He just tried to hammer the 60 there. He's got to hold on, though. Oh, watch out. If it goes another four feet, it's going down the fairway. Ha oh, ha Got very lucky. Below the hole, he's going to take it. <laughs> so important. This was at the second. A moment ago, the second for Louis Double R. Oh, beautiful pitch there. Using the leading edge of the club. Getting in there quick. Championship at Greyhawk just a few months ago. Had to pour a lot of water on the black shoes he wore that week. It was about <laughs> 110 out there, really sunny. And you realize on about the seventh hole that he had smoke coming out of his shoes because he wore, wore those dark colors and made the adjustment. And as you say, played some really good golf. This man has got quite a future from 166 now. And he's a guy that will not beat himself. Just left of it. A oh, beautiful shot. That's exactly where he... Up at four, Donald Kay. This for birdie. 
coming down the slope. It's going to work a little from right to left. Just see how fast these greens are. Look how far out to the right he's positioned, expecting quite a bit of bend in this. Not enough pace. A couple of years ago now, Castillo at four. Just a tad bit of downhill in this. Not much break at all. Ricky's making it look easy right now. And fly this a lot of the way there. But certainly not helped by the fact that Bo's got 12 feet back up the hill and certainly very makeable. Wow, what a shot, Bones. Don't that, you love match play? Oh, that was just phenomenal to go now here at the fifth. What a start, Noda. Yeah, just been stellar, been full throttle the whole way, has his dad on the bag. They've had one heck of a summer making it to the quarterfinals at the Western, and he just said it's uh, a nice place for Ricky, feels good here about his game. A location on that back ledge. Green really slopes hard from right to left, but he should spin it pretty well from there. There you go. Another couple feet might not have been as good, but a good. At the fourth hole, excuse me, the third hole, able to stick one in there tight, and I need the same effort here. Oh, this one came out hot, way hot. Mm, and there's no bueno. This is the left of this hole here at uh, straight up the hill. Don't have to worry about the putt getting away from you. Not a ton of break, so I'm just going to lag this up in there. That's exactly what he did, so he gets off to that hot start. Just on the edge of the green. Now Austin Greaser. See if Austin takes on a little something here from 144, just wedge in hand. Big forward press. Playing just left of it. What a shot. Oh, beautiful, beautifully <laughs> really? done there. Judge the release coming out of the rough. Head coaches get the uh, attention and props as well they should, but sometimes it's that assistant that does a lot of the little things, and as we're finding out, and some of us have known, can really play the game of golf, which we sort of had some tongue-in-cheek with that, Justin, but... He can, so any anytime you can make a match not last very long, it's to your advantage. Now, Ali Osborne here with driver at the second. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. a really good tee shot. And that's going to hold the green, too. Should work back a little bit towards the hole. Beautiful drive. Still not done. Wow, what a shot by Ollie. At three, Jim. Yeah, Sam Murphy. His second shot. Birdie was conceded. It was not conceded on the hole. Oh, my. <laughs> that's why it was conceded. <laughs> Go to six. Henry Shimp has already missed the green. This is the tee shot for John Marshall Butler. That's yeah, on an aggressive line. Go in. Wow. Thought what about a it. Beautiful shot. Take a look at some leaderboards. You see Castillo with that four up lead through seven. And if you see the name and think maybe it should be Castillo, that comes from Ricky. It is Castillo due to his Filipino heritage. It is a name you better get used to hearing because he is awfully talented. Osborne, runner up in the championship a year ago. Two up through two. David Nefial. We can confirm. And what does he get as a reward? The medalist, Mark Getz. But I think he'll take it, Justin, knowing he can keep playing some uh, certainly some surviving golf. a 12 for one playoff. Uh, just remarkable, and he'll be very happy to be playing this evening.